So, I was having a problem. I have a lot of pedals that are not on a pedal board. And, uh, you know, out of sight, out of mind, I wasn't using them and I'm trying to rectify that situation. So, what I'm gonna do is install some shelves in the grow room in here. That way, they're always accessible to me at all times. I got these shelves. It's got these handy dandy kind of uh, bronze mounting. Uh, hardware and um, <clears throat> nice looking piece of wood so uh, the first one's gonna go right here and I'm gonna put them up right now so here we go This weekend, uh, I took some uh, uh, opportunity to make some much needed um, changes in the grow room here, basically. Uh, I installed the pedal shelves uh, as we went through here uh, a second ago. And um, moved the uh, most awesome unknown Henson collage up here. And also um, added a two amp stand uh, for the deluxes. So that was to the positive for sure. But I'm mostly stoked about this. Um, don't look at those. Just don't even look at them. It's, it's well beyond your comprehension. Got a big muff here. Ooh. Oh, tone bender. Mm-hmm. Some things down here. Little old wild. Oh, Shinjuku. Don't, don't. No, no, no. Come on now. Don't even. Don't even do me. Yo. Um. So over the last few days, I've been pondering um, an issue. It's been knocking around in my head. And, uh. I'll try to hash it out here. I was in the music store the other day and I seen a piece of gear that I used to own. And I always regretted selling that piece of gear. But it went in a trade for a vintage Telecaster that I still own and love. So it was still worth it. But the fact that I have an opportunity to reclaim something that I regret selling is um, staring me right in the face. The biggest problem with this scenario is what I have to give up to get it. This. The Fox Rocks Captain Coconut 2. It's Jimmy in a box. It has a Octavia, a Fuzz, and a Univibe, all built into this gigantic and extremely heavy black enclosure that runs off a very inconvenient 9 volt AC. That said, it sounds glorious and it's possibly three of the best versions of these particular effects that you can get. And did I mention there was only a thousand of these made? This very one 
is demoed on Dave Fox's YouTube page and you can check it out at any time. It's serial number CC, that's for Captain Coconut, 2041173. Yeah, it's really cool. And far rarer than the vintage piece that I'm trading for. There were probably thousands of that item made. But, I will probably use it more. Well, let me, well, hold on. I will use it a lot. The reason why I don't use this very much is because I also have another Captain Coconut pedal. So I have two which is the only reason why I would even consider getting rid of this. All that said, I felt like that I would do a short demonstration of the Captain Coconut one last time as we say goodbye. Possibly forever because these things are like 800 bucks and I just don't, I'm not gonna go, I'm just not gonna buy a second one again. So, yes, possibly forever. As we, join me, as we send off the Captain Coconut 2 and stand by for the reveal of its vintage replacement.
Today's recording rig is brought to you by the Marshall Amplification Company. Over here we have a 1969 small box Plexi. This is a tremolo head with, it's a 50 water with two EL34s. This is an upside down 1964 basement cab loaded with two Eminence Cannabis Rec speakers. <laughs> Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. I was born. 